Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Aera heat pump installation. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, go back and have a quick look and then I'll uh, tell you why I chose um, Aera to do my heat pump installation. Um, so it's day one, the end of day one. They arrived promptly at 8 a.m. this morning, a team of uh, two heating engineers, an electrician, and a delivery guy dropping off all the gear. We were on a really tight road, so we had to make a few uh, neighbors move cars to get everything in, uh, but so after the first half hour, everything was in uh, the front of the property, and then slowly throughout the morning, things were brought around the back of the property. Um, the Electrician's been working in the cellar, putting in a new consumer unit and working around the side of the property um, on the neighbor's side, uh, channeling a uh, power cable from the new consumer unit in the cellar to the back of the property. Except for that, there's been very little done outside, just lots of unboxing of lots of equipment and storing of equipment. Uh, I'll go around the building and show you what's been changed. So, excuse the mess, guys. Uh, we came back from camping uh, at a festival on the uh, on the Sunday night, and it's Monday now, so we've got camping gear everywhere, as well as lots of heat pump equipment. So we've got the cylinder uh, unit in the kitchen, dining room area. Uh, obviously, that's not where it's going to stay. <laughs> um, we They've been mainly doing re radiator installs, so I'll show you some pictures of what was here before, but we've got a humongous two-meter-long um k2 radiator um in here where there used to be a um a cast iron radiator because of the tile floor they've had to use the existing uh ports but of course they can't knock up the tiles so we've got these funny dog legs here um but i'm quite pleased with how they've uh, they've done them they look quite uh quite nice and they've used uh, chrome so that's all cool slightly smaller uh 1.6 meter uh, radiator k2 radiator similar again they've struggled to get to where the pipes were because of how they're coming through the uh, through the skirting board so again they've done these sort of dog leg solution here uh, but again it's pr quite pretty and actually because we've had cast iron radiators here before um, they're actually set back a little bit further than they were so we've actually gained a little bit of space in the actual room even though they're much bigger overall I'll show you through where the utility room is, where the cylinder will go. I can show you how I've prepped the area. We've got a lot of stuff in here. So we've got this space here where the cylinder's gonna go. Lots of equipment being stored in here as well. So not much work been happening in here so far. We've got a new radiator in the hallway here. Very similar, it's the same uh, width, it's just a bit taller, so they've used the, exactly the same uh, pipe work, I believe, in here. Very little bit change there. So we have another cast iron radiator in the lounge, and again, it's a 16, uh, sorry, 1.6 meter long, 75 centimeter tall radiator here. So it's again, it's, it's much bigger, but actually again, because we had a cast iron unit here, which was a bit deeper, it will actually gain space in the room. Um, it does sit taller than the uh, the sofa where the other one didn't, but generally I'm quite happy with that. It doesn't really bother me. So this is the last radio that they've changed. Uh, it's a nice big long one, but here we had a K1 before, so it does stick out a bit more than the other one did, which will get take a bit of getting used to, but generally it's not a problem. Uh, They've not quite finished this one yet. I believe they've had problems with this one. They've taken up the carpet and uh, they've done well in actually, there's not much marks where the old um, pipes came through, but I don't know if it's that they're mismeasured or if they have problems connecting to the pipe work because they've obviously had to drill and start again. So we've got a bit of a, bit of a mess there on the wall which is not ideal but at the same time we are going to be redecorating this hallway next and any um, issues with the carpet that may occur will be replaced when we replace the carpet and tidy this hallway up we've got no more um, radiators being done in the property so far that's uh, five the sixth will be a new um, radiator in the utility room 
but that's going to be the last thing that they do because um, they need to make sure they have enough space on this side to put this new radiator here and the pipe work's going to have to go up and over the top here and across the top here to the cylinder. I don't think they've started any of the drilling through because what's going to happen is they're going to have to have the pipes come through here from the external fan unit across the top of this. It's going to be uh, conduited in through this wall here along the top here and it's going to be the cylinder is going to be here so that's everything i've got to show you today so i think they're a little bit behind from where they would like to have been but the guy was here from like eight in the morning till seven at night one of them was so they've been working really really hard today um i think they wanted to get all five radiators uh plumbed in but they've got all five on the wall but i think they're still two which are maybe even three which are misbehaving a little for them so they've got a little bit more work to do tomorrow to catch up probably um i'm not really sure what they're going to be doing tomorrow they haven't told me yet so we will find out and i will let you know in the next video all right we'll see you then